What's up guys, Zero here, and I got probably the, the last battle I'll play on Warhammer 2 for the time being, um, seeing as Warhammer 3 is coming out. So I'm playing Chaos, Chaos is getting a big update, well actually Chaos isn't, but uh, the demons are coming out, and they have mortal followers and stuff, so I'll be able to use, uh, like Slanesh has a version of Marauders with stuff on them <laughs> for uh, Warhammer 3, so a couple of chaos -y factions there. And we have some Vampire Coast over here on the other side. That's what the, my opponent chose in the quick battle, which is um, not necessarily the most fun match, but um, it is what it is. Um, on Schwarzenhofen here, I think is the map's called. And I'm kind of going to miss these open field battles, since uh, Warhammer 3 is going to make mainly have a... Uh, that is loud. So Warhammer 3 is the ladder system is going to use uh, a domination mode where you capture three points on it, and there's going to be lots of terrain everywhere, which is could be annoying with like piles of unbreakable troops in like just grinding out in a cluster instead of an open field battle where you get to actually do stuff, but um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes when we get it. Um, yeah, it's coming out on the 17th, a couple days from now. Um, so he got a um, heavy Cyrene army, which is uh, kind of unlucky for him because I brought three aspiring champions. And um, my build is actually pretty well set up to fight his since he has a, a pile of, he has a leadership core of um, three crabs back here, and I have two um, dragon ogres. I got chaff to kill the, uh, the deck hands, and I have magic damage to kind of sirens. Um, for some reason, I thought this was, this was Luther Harkon on his terror guys, so um, <laughs> I went after with most of the stuff I had. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Because most of the time, if they bring the Luther, they bring the bats. They try to shoot your lord and your mage and whatnot. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, um, I'm not sure why it took me so long to figure out this was just a regular terrorist. Um, but it has been a while since I've played the game last. Um, i going to try to catch the Sirenes with the Aspiring Champs, but he probably gets away. probably played as well as I did on the micro front. He got some of his crab stuck, which you can't really do with the Coast versus Chaos. But the, I believe the Dragon Ogres are a bit faster than the crabs, so... You gotta try to use summons to block them or something. Um, doing a good job keeping the Sirenes away. About to take out this Terror guys. I don't think it did too much damage. I guess it was fighting both... Um, both Manticores, but... Probably not the best idea to bring up just a regular terror geist here. Um, yeah, what did, did he? They are handguns. Oh, he did bring the <laughs> the salt lord scuttlers. Okay, that's pretty funny. They probably do decent damage. The horsemen, especially with the sirens coming in. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of pushing over there. I'm trying to get into into the crabby the crabby goodies with the. The dragon ogres, but he did a pretty good job of blocking me up with him. I don't think they're actually gonna get that much value. 900. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Dragon ogres are pretty terrible versus infantry in general, and I think the the sirens, if you don't have the magic damage version of the dragon ogres, trade pretty pretty well here. Um, actually, I want to see if the, the debuff. Yeah, they only have 22 melee attack when they're debuffed by the, the sirens aura. Um, these guys are coming back a little bit. I already gained a bit of um, the lead on the balance of power. He's lost. He actually hasn't lost a whole lot of anything. He lost the Geist. I guess his leadership is pretty heavily damaged. He'd probably do a better job of scuttling back with his crabs and shooting me more, but um, he's probably not the most experienced player. But he has a pretty decent build, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, this kid's good. And he's playing pretty well as well, but um, it's just kind of a tricky matchup from uh, 
Vampire Coast side, and from Chaos side as well. It's just very, uh, very unusual since um, the the Coast player has more options than the Chaos player, but um, most of those options are bad <laughs> and have to be played like quite precisely. you kind of just get run over. And I think I had a pretty good build to counter his. So, right now he's trying to stop Sigvold from getting his horde. Which, Sigvold is a bit of a menace here. You can't really let him get this close to your, um, your lord. Uh, he's still going strong. He's a perfect figure. He's never going to tire out, never going to lose any armor from uh, vigor and whatnot. So the lord's down. That's a huge spike in the balance of power for me. He has some Sirenes left, but um, they probably can't even kill some to be honest. Uh, we still got the. Uh, trying to dodge some shots here with my mage. Really shooting at me with his gunnery white. He actually killed most of my dragon ogres. Um, not the best play by me, but. Uh, what you gonna do? Very sloppy. We got um, some bats here against Sigval. I'll have to check Sigval's value. I didn't bring him with all the items. Like I tend to do, but um, yeah, should do the job. Uh, got some marauders. And looking at the battle, but yeah, you just have to finish off these sirens. They can't kill the, the aspiring champions. He's just trying to get a terror route on the on the calf so he can free his gunnery light, but it's probably not good enough. Kind of funny the art style on these games. I don't know if the second one was necessarily that much better than the first, as, as far as uh, how good everything looks. Wait, why is there? A, I guess they do have their flags. And the third game doesn't look all that much better, to be honest. I don't know, but hopefully it runs better. Um, we're gonna be playing on ultra scales instead of. Instead of um, large, like in here, so we're going to have more units around, which could help uh, for balance, but um, makes units less responsive. I kind of like playing World 1 with the uh, 27 models to the calf. <laughs> but there, there was other bits of World 1 that were good as well. Here, um, Sigvold did good, paid for himself, and he finished with perfect health because of his regen and perfect vigor. Uh, the Fire Mage, I probably should have brought Burning Head. I only brought Fireball, but, um, yeah, I did the job. I don't know. It wasn't the best, actually. Burning Head would have been good for the Sirenes. But, my build was pretty good against Sirenes already with the three Aspiring Champions. The Missile Cab did good, as always. Uh, Manticores are also really good. Dragon Ogres, this one actually almost paid for itself. They cost 1650 so. So-so. Crumping up on those crabs. They actually should, with the regen, you'd figure they would more than pay for themselves, but I don't know. He did disintegrate rather than um, get, get killed the last, so. Oh, we got 750. What do these cost? Are these, these 750 or are they 800? Are they 850? They're somewhere around there. They did okay. Actually, they did better than I probably should have. Which is uh, probably my fault. But they're also pretty speedy, so they can kind of run away from the relatively slow aspiring champions. But, um, anyways, I guess I'll see you all in Warhammer 3.